What's up, y'all? This is Ash, and welcome to the third video of Slime Rancher 2. Since the last video, I did a lot of farming, as you can see by my gold amount right now. Um, I also... I didn't explore any new areas, but I came over to pop this hunter gordo and I found some honey and painted hens in Starlight Strand on my way there. So other than that, not much has happened. I just made a lot of money and I figured I would start this video by popping the hunter gordo and seeing what happens. That also means I get some hunter slimes to mess around with, which is good. Don't know how many I'll need, but might as well take, take all of them. Got some radiant ore, which I definitely need for some upgrades. Treasure pod. Just another... Decoration. Okay, so can't open this from this side, but at some point we can work on opening that, because it either requires honey or rock um, ports to open that one. There's ringtails too, but I don't need those right now. The painted hen will be nice in the future for, I believe, the dervish. No, the Tangle Slime. Well, there are anglers here. That makes sense. I don't think I came down this way in the last video. Because I, I didn't stay here very long in the last one. I don't remember exactly where I went, but... It seems a lot more lively at night time, that's for sure. Still haven't found how to unlock this map, though. So... Sea hens would also be nice for the for the anglers, but I don't know if I want to get rid of the painted hen for that because I already know of a couple places I can get sea hens. I don't think I needed to come up here, but I see a treasure pod over there. I don't see anything else interesting, but I don't know. I don't know if I can get up to that treasure pod though. Maybe I need the jetpack. As with most things in this game, it seems like. So for now. Probably go back to the ranch and deposit. Oh, right. Since I have all this money now, I was going to unlock another new ranch area. 
perhaps um, perhaps all the ranch areas and He's not hungry. I want I want a hunter port to open that door, but there we go. If I lose oh no, it's right there. There. Perfect. This is another portal? Or is this no, this is the one back home. So I found this shortcut. That's good. Perfect. That will actually save a lot of time in the future. So, perfect time to go back to the ranch. And then I can come back out and keep exploring. I have to figure out what I want to do with these. I guess I could just make hunter honey slimes or water goes but I don't know I guess that would be fine because honey slimes favorite food is easier to get than the hunters I wanted to make honey cotton slimes, but I'm already using cotton for the ring pails. I guess I could still make them, but... I'd rather spread it out and have a variety to work with. There's a couple new messages, I think. Yeah, lots of new messages. <laughs> Okay, so... Get link is okay. Aiming bell. I'm sure I can find a use for that eventually, but right now... I'm not really sure what to do with that. So... I guess I'll put this in the silo for now. Oh uh, yeah, I also replaced these two corrals with silos because I plan to have this area be farming and storage related and then the other areas can be where the slimes are. There are way too many chickens in this corral. But, you know, it's kind of hard to get rid of them when I'm also farming cubeberries for the only thing 
that favors the stony hens. But I could replace them with painted hens and get tangle slimes eventually. But as for right now, that's not the case. Definitely need to explore more of the... I think Ember Valley is where I would find fire slimes. I have to imagine that's the case. And I was gonna put the fire slimes right here. But I don't have any yet, so there's not really a point in doing that. We'll put another corral with the key. But I plan to put fatty slimes in this cave because they also should be in the dark, just like the phosphors. So I'd want to save this for when I get batty slimes. But I can go unlock the next area of the ranch. just fill, fill up this area with corrals, probably. And since I currently have some Well, I don't know if I want to make all of these into Largos just yet, but they can at least hang out in there for now. I could still make the honey cotton Largos. Then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the rest of the hunter slimes, but to go find some cotton slimes because I definitely want to make the honey cotton largos but I guess for now the hunters can just hang out in there I don't know if I need to buy air nets on these but we'll see
since I have enough money, I'll unlock this area, the gully, and I can't buy much. I could buy one corral, maybe. But after that, I'll probably just go back out and explore more of... Maybe I'll explore Ember Valley, because I want to try to find Batty Slimes and maybe Fire or Boom. Any of those would be good. So now we can go back out. Although I also need some Radiant Ore, and I think that's probably only in Starlight Strand, but we'll find out. unlocked at least some of the map, at least, but we'll see if I can find maybe how to get further west, because that's probably where we'll start finding new stuff. Oh, lucky slime. On. Oh, it eats meat. Well, I don't have any meat on me, so that's unfortunate. For some reason, I thought they just ate anything, but clearly not, because they are a cat, technically. I did not come prepared, so... I didn't think I'd be seeing one, so that, um, that kind of sucks. I think I needed silky sand for another inventory slot, but I can't remember exactly. I also am not sure how far this way I can go, because I think I need the jetpack. But we can find out. Yeah, I probably, probably need a jetpack or something else to get over that way. But I found a treasure pod. Another decoration. Some radiant ore, which I think will... dropped one. Well, I was gonna say it might finish off what I need for the jetpack, but now I don't think I have enough, because one fell in the water. See a treasure pot over there. I think I can reach that. Maybe. Yeah. So 
Climb bait. All right. There's some more radiant ore down there, so that'll make up for losing some. I still don't see anything else important right now, so... Gather that. See if there's anything else interesting around here. I assume if I were to find batty slimes, they'd be some somewhere in a cave, so finding a cave would be the first step. This, yeah. And I almost made that. It's more radiant ore up there. I assume I have to do some parkour with the geysers. I don't think that's gonna work. It's worth a shot. There's more right here, though. Hmm. This is becoming problematic. I'm getting lots of radiant ore though. And maybe I'll discover how to get further west. Almost. Oh, there we go. Just do a little parkour. What's in here? Well, there's the batty slimes I've been waiting for, and crystals. So I can make maybe some batty crystal slimes, Margos. I guess that geyser doesn't go up as high as I thought. Hmm. Well, now I think I have enough radiant ore to buy the jetpack. And I think that's a crystal gordo up there, which eats vegetables. So I could get the jetpack and come back with. come back with a bunch of vegetables. This, I definitely can't make that jump without the jetpack, so nothing really left to do now besides go back home.
Now I can use the last... Or I can get another corral in the cave area and put the batty slimes in there. The last slot in the cave is reserved for the fire slimes. There's not really any logical reason for that, I just want to put them in the cave. Crystal Slime's favorite food is the Odd Onion, which I don't have any of, and they're kind of hard to farm, so... I can find the Batty Slime's favorite food instead, and feed them that. And we got back just in time for a new message. Oh, a couple new messages. Yet another decoration. These chickens are getting out of control. Okay, now we can get the jetpack. I'll need a lot more materials to get the upgrade for it, but I'm not too worried about that. Just having it in general is really nice. Also, might as well get the water tank, because the cars did become a problem earlier. So now I'll be able to deal with the tars that I come across that I can't yeet into the ocean. We don't have enough for that area yet. 
but I can make this area into basically the chicken farming area. And now that I have the jetpack, I can go hopefully explore a lot more of the other zones. So I'm going to do that after I start a painted hen farm, and I'll probably move all of these to the chicken area as well. I'm gonna demolish that and turn it into a garden because there is a lot of crops that I want to farm eventually. It sucks that I only have one rooster, but since I have a lot of stony chicks, one of those might grow into a rooster. I'll just have to keep my fingers crossed. And my painted hens will go over here. I'll put one rooster in there to get that started. Now... Hmm. I'll probably... If I go back to Ember Valley, I think there was a crystal gordo that I need to pop. But I need a lot of vegetables for that. And... My current stock of vegetables is not very much. So instead, I'll probably go to Starlight Strand again. And see if I can finally find the map unlock for that one. If not, then I don't but now that I have the jetpack, it should let me explore a lot more. I forgot that the jetpack can actually make you go higher than where you started. I thought you were kind of locked in at that height, but that's good to know. Now I can go... Already, I can go way more places than before. Maybe from up here I can see... Oh yeah, the map unlock. There we go. It doesn't unlock much, but it's a start. I can get some sea hens, finally. The next upgrades I want to get is some extra inventory slot because that will help a lot. Because I tend to want to pick up everything that I find. Uh, 
It's cyclone weather, which means I think that dervish slimes can spawn. And I think this is the other map unlock. Yes. Hello. Hmm. I think that's a rock. Quartz. I'll have to see if I can find a rock slime somewhere. And I'll definitely want to keep an eye out for Dervish, because I think they spawn in Cyclone weather. Yep. But I, I've never seen them before, so I don't know if they just spawn anywhere in this weather, or specifically near the tornadoes. But for now, let's see if this takes the rock port. It sure does. We'll see where this goes. Might just be another shortcut back towards the portal part. I don't know how to unlock that. But Because I don't see a statue anywhere, but... Hmm. Maybe we'll find out eventually. I would love to find a dervish. Somewhere. this now. I wonder if I can just suck water up here. No, I need to be closer to it. Ooh. No dervish slimes. But that's okay. Hopefully this weather lasts for a while so that I have a better chance of finding one. Oh, that's moon dew nectar. Hmm. I have to throw away the sea hens again. Because <laughs> I also want the wild honey. And moon dew nectar is really rare, so I definitely don't want to get rid of that. Which means, yet again, I'll probably have to go back home and deposit things. Oh, I didn't want to fall down here yet. Dash boots are good. More wild honey. Although, if a dervish spawns now, I'll really be in a predicament. Probably have to get rid of... maybe... eat the buzzwax? I don't know. There seems to be a lot of nectar here, though. 
I thought it was rare, but... Maybe they updated it? Anyways, I also would really like this mint mango. So... I might get rid of the silky sand for now. I can start a mint mango farm and deposit these other things. just landed, but found a treasure pod, and hopefully I can still get back home from here. I assume so. But yeah, like I said, I definitely need another inventory slot because I uh, could have carried back all the things I had instead of having to throw some away. I guess, you know, that's the decisions you have to make. Now I'll go see what else I need for that inventory upgrade, and go from there. Just need some more money and I can get that one. Oh, time for a bunch of farming.
I finally have enough to buy the extra tank upgrade. Now I'll need to save up for the next one, but I can also hold 40 units in each tank, which is awesome. So now I can hold so much stuff. And with that, I think it's time to go back out to explore. I think I'm going to try to find the crystal gordo I saw earlier. Hopefully be able to pop it and then come back home. And I'll most likely end the video after that. Because I've gotten a lot done today already. I think this should be plenty of vegetables for that Gordo, but we'll find out. A little sad that I didn't ever see a dervish in the other place, but I'm sure that I'll get more chances in the future. Maybe I'll go check it before ending the video just to see if the cyclone is still there. I kinda doubt it, but it's probably worth a shot at least. I also don't remember where I saw that Gordo earlier, but... Now it was further west in places that I didn't have the map unlocked yet, so... I think it was that way, but since that looks like a volcano, that's probably where fire and boom slimes are. Now, though, that's not where I'm going. Yep, there it is. Then, I'll probably see where this geyser takes me. I brought way too many vegetables, but on the bright side, I can just grow more. Oh, I see. So that should unlock this area up there. Awesome. This is just batting me and crystal again. I'm not 
sure if there's anything else up here, but it's worth a check. Oh, no. That looks like a tabby gordo. I definitely didn't bring any meat, so I'll have to come back again. And since I still have some free inventory space, maybe I'll go check out the volcanic area. If I can get there anyway. Kind of looks like a cave entrance, but I'm a little scared to test that. Just in case it's not. Now, well, it looks like I could have just come this way at any time, but I didn't explore enough, I guess. We got some boom slimes, and I'm hoping to find fire soon. I'll have to figure out what I want to combine the boom slimes with, but that's a later problem. These I definitely need because these are the baddie slime's favorite food. So I definitely want to grow some of those. I'll only get rid of my heartbeats if I find fire slimes. This might just be where I came from. Maybe. No, this is somewhere else. This was a really successful run, I would say. And of course, since I don't have any water in my vacuum tank, all the tar show up. Even with my extra inventory slots, I have to make difficult decisions. But at least now I know kind of where the fire slimes are, so I can come back for those. Found some good stuff, so... 
Go get this map unlock, then head back home. Need those two. I think prickle pears are the dervish's favorite food, so I guess I don't need them yet, but having some would be nice anyway. Okay. Definitely need to head back now, because I have too much stuff. But I keep finding new things. Now that I know where some of these things are, I can always come back, of course. Since all that's left is heading back home and farming up some more, I'm just going to end the video here. Since there's not much need to record me running back home and everything. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!